Hi, I'm Luigi Diotaiuti, chef owner of Al Tiramisu restaurant. I am from Basilicata, Italy, and I owe my entire career to this magical region. The agricultural tradition of this area ensured zero food miles from farm to table. This is what inspired me to serve the beauty of Basilicata at the James Beer Foundation. For a chef, cooking at the James Beer Foundation is the ultimate honor. I'm going to show you what it's like. Pecorino era già completo, filti, miele, balsamico, sì, reduction. La setuna e la laranja l'avevamo la messa. Come on, come on, come on, guys, make a hug! Make a hug! Come on! Come on, come on, 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 come on! Come you only have one shot to make a good impression. Anything that goes wrong is irreversible. So welcome to JSBA. Thank you. You only have a certain amount of china available. And you have to make it work for your meal. It's crucial for the plating of the dishes that they are organized well. Salad and dessert. Creo que llegar a cocinar ahí es porque hemos hecho las cosas bien y yo le digo a cualquiera que eh, está en este sistema de la cocina que pues llegar ahí es porque uno hace las cosas bien y es lo mejor que le puede pasar a uno estar en la fundación de James Beers. When you are working in a kitchen which is not your own, planning ahead is very important. I began organizing the dinner six months in advance, and we began prepping three days ahead. The foundation staff, interns, and our staff collaborated to make the event a great success. Each person must know their role, and they must feel confident that they can do it properly. <laughs> At this point, I realized that I'm not only representing myself and my restaurant, but an entire region. Are you familiar with the Basilicata? No, let's talk about it. It's the beautiful region of Italy where Italy begins. That is the end of the Via Appia, famous by the Romans, where they were going to the Middle East, looking for olive oil and grapes from the uh, Greece, all kinds of things. If they were not for the Roman, there would be no wine today. The guests start arriving. It's a showtime. It was both an honor and a pleasure for me to be able to attend the Beauty of Basilicata dinner at the James Beard Foundation. Basilicata is home to the oldest human settlements in Italy, as well as rich agricultural traditions that have been taking place since antiquity. And it's these farming customs that have created a cuisine unlike any other in the world. There are many local ingredients indigenous to Basilicata that have won awards and are famous throughout Italy. On March 14, 2013, Chef Luigi took us on a gastronomic tour of his homeland that transformed its local dishes into world-class creations. He successfully fused the spirit of James Beard himself, the sophistication of Manhattan, and the beauty of Basilicata. It was a night I'll never forget. The respectful tradition along with the unique terroir and our history is what sets Basilicata apart from other regions. We have DOP products, 
like Cacciocavallo Podolico, Senise Peppers, Pecorino di Moliterno and my favorite Sarconi Beans. For the antipasti, I create a selection of rustic traditional ingredients that could be found in any home in Basilicata and serve them in an elevated way, perfect for today's palates. Fava beans is one of the ancient crops that the human ever had in our history. We talk about our salata. It's a classic crust made with ricotta and flour, equal, and that's the crust. And then inside, of course, as I said, because it's, a, it's a, like a traditional artisan, uh, always a farmer will have onions, always will have any kind of vegetables, whether it's own season or whether Mother Nature will give to you from outside a sort of chicory, and kale, all kinds of things. So basically, there is always like some rustic cheese. Remember, people wear the cycle everything. The tradition of preserving cod in salt has been maintained for centuries in Basilicata. Since the majority of the region is surrounded by mountains, this was the only way for people to enjoy seafood. We call it baccala in uh, where I'm from or in Italy. And the main ingredient in this recipe are cut salt, of course, uh, potato and broccoli and milk and particularly ikruski. Those are pepper dry from Senise, very famous from where I'm from. Dried red peppers. Yes, exactly. Oh, this are sweet pepper, pepper, and you can, they come in a different shape, of course. And then, But this one, is basically, in this recipe, they function for the crunch on top. And How did so. you decide to make this particular dish to serve at the James Beard Foundation? Is uh, this a traditional dish in Italy? It is. And uh, what we do at Tiramisu, and that's what I wanted to do at uh, James Beard Foundation, I want to take the traditional Italian recipe from where I'm from and elevate it in a different level. In January 2013, I was proud to return to Basilicata to oversee Pasta Lab 2013, where professional chefs team up with home cooks to reclaim traditional pasta recipes on the verge of being forgotten. The local grandmothers are the true guardians of the pasta-making culture, and it was a privilege for me to be able to work with them. I created this course in their honor. It's a cow milk and rennet and salt above The podolido is actually a unique species of cow who grows in my area, Puglia and Calabria. It's almost a steep. And usually they make it only three months a year when they you know they give a bird so they have the bill and everything. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, then there are certain the center of Italy which they make it longer, but they are not from Podolo and Khan. They are just like every other regular cow. My father was like a, a, an artist. I remember he used to do uh, rooster, he used to do piggy, with all this shit, with this, you know. When I was young, we used this vehicle, the Trebbia, a traditional method of milling the high quality hard wheat used for pasta. To pay tribute to the beautiful seaside town of Maratea, where I went to culinary school, I created a stuffed calamari dish. I serve it over polenta, which is an important staple in Basilicata. Bueno, una muy bonito, eh, una experiencia muy linda poder haber ido a, a, a trabajar a una fundación tan importante como la James Pierce Foundation. Y gracias a la a la oportunidad que trabajo con uno de los mejores chefs, Luigi Riotti Ayuti, y que tuvo la amabilidad de poderme ver llevado a, esa, a ese gran evento especial para él también. Oh, Marie. Oh, Marie. For a palate cleanser between the seafood and meat cores, I created a sorbetto of blood orange and prosecco. I chose blood oranges for their bright, sweet taste and beautiful color. They remind me of the breathtaking sunsets in Basilicata. In the south of Italy, baby goats was always served at important functions like holidays and weddings. 
goats became more popular because it's healthy and tastes great. The fennel and orange salad is very traditional. In Italy, fennel is loved for its taste and digestive properties. The fruit bridges the gap between the salad and dessert courses. This was my sister Maria's recipe. These panzerotti were a hit in our family and the crowning glory of the dinner. I owe a great deal of my talent to my sisters who are queens in the kitchen. It's great to have complete all of our courses. The staff join me in checking off our list. Bye. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> Guess what? Aperitivo? Check. Bacala? Check. Pasta? Check. Check. Because they were not Check. Check. The guests were happy and it was time for me to sign the James Beard chef coat and the menu from the evening. Chef Nick Flores started his career at Atiramisu restaurant right here. He is one of the young cooks I mentored and I'm proud of his success. Chef Nick came back to New York just to attend my dinner. I was very honored. He made me feel as if my career had come a full circle. <laughs> this is saying that sometimes people live as regards to looking for more money, and better success, and better life. But then they all go back to looking for their soul. I always insist that young cooks learn and master their basics. They must understand where the ingredients are coming from, how the traditional dishes are prepared, and how to maintain standards in the kitchen. Terroir is the perfect integration of nature and the people who share it. All good chefs must understand agriculture well. I really encourage young chefs to master and be proud of their culture and the community they come from. We should view food as a way to carry forward our culinary identities. I am a big fan of the James Beard Scholarship and all the programs which help people to achieve their culinary dreams. Thank <laughs> you.